Okay, so this is the last set of notes. It is controlled experiment. So this is going to be page eight. This is the last set of notes that we have. It's not all the way in the back, but it's the last set. Make sure to match up with the essential question, which is what is the difference between independent and dependent variable, along with describe the parts of a controlled experiment. We did this on the 28th. Okay. So first off, we're going to look at this real quick. Page two is the anticipation guide. Remember, we already did this. Part of the experiment measured is the dependent variable, true or false. Some of uh, number 10, something kept the same in the experiment is called the independent variable. All right, true or false. And that one was on the left-hand side, the right-hand side for after we're done. All right, so in a controlled experiment, what you're going to do in your notes is where the pink underlined words please fill in. A controlled experiment has one, just one variable changed to see if it causes an effect. Scientific method is used to conduct a controlled experiment. So we just looked at scientific method. There's seven parts to it. Now we're saying that an, a controlled experiment is this using the scientific method to explain what's going on, right? All right, and I use the term variable. What the heck is a variable? So variables are all parts in experiment. So there are three types. You have the independent. That's the thing that is changing, the factor that is changing. Then you have a dependent variable. That's the one that is measured. So Say I want to water my plant, like say my plants need to be, um, I want them to grow big. So I'm going to say, hmm, if I water the plants with fertilizer, they're going to grow bigger than the ones with water. So my independent variable is the fertilized plant, like the fertilized water that I'm putting into the plant. The dependent, the measure thing is how big my plants are getting. Now, the constant variable, that is the thing that stays the same. So I would compare plants. I'd use the same type of plant, but put regular water in one. That would be my constant, the thing that stays the same. It's the thing that I would be comparing against, right? All right, so we do have groups, and this goes along with what I was saying. So an experiment is based on comparing two groups. We've got the experimental, the one with the um, the fertilizer, the group that has been changed, whereas you have the control group, which is the comparison that does not change, that does not have that variable. The same plant, just with water. All right, and then we're going to organize all of our data, all the measurements, and I'm going to organize them into a graph. So in a graph, it's a visual representation of the data that was collected, right? So we have three different graphs that we're going to talk about. First is a line graph. This shows how data changes over time. So in the side where it says line graph, write down time because you want to know that. Line is time. Bar graphs compare information collected by counting. So bar, compare, counting. And then last but not least, we have these pie charts right here, which show percentages. So I would just make the little percentage sign. So my percentage sign, just like that. So do your percentage sign right next to pie chart. So you have on the side, on the left-hand side, it says line graph. You have line equals time. Bar, compare, count pi percent all right that's it for the notes so what i need you to do is flip to your uh little piece of paper that has the quizzes this is quiz number four i do controlled experiment to label it label one two three four five and let's get going all right a controlled experiment changes how many variables a one b two c three or four d as many as needed pause if you need to two the variable change is called what a constant b controlled c independent or d dependent pause if needed 
The variable measured is called what? A constant, B control, C independent, or D dependent. Four, the control group serves as what? What's its perfect purpose? A, comparison, B, experiment, C has two variables changed instead of one, or D constantly changes. Pause if you need. All right, five, what graphs compare information collected by counting? Is it A, line graph, B, bar graph, C, pie chart, or D, T chart? All right, pause if needed. All right, so we're going to go over this. If you got it wrong, make sure to highlight, star, underline in your notes. That means you need to go back and study, reread, make notes on a little index card so you remember this. A controlled experiment changes how many variables? Just one. The variable changed is called the independent. The variable measured, that one's the, in, uh, the dependent. Mm, sorry. The control group serves as what? Comparison, experiment, Two variables change instead of one or constant changes. This one is going to be the comparison. So control compares. Control compare. All right. Five, what graphs compare information by counting? Um, that one is going to be your bar graph. All right. We're going to flip back to two and answer in our anticipation guide. The part of the experiment measured is dependent absolutely true the independent changes that what should be in your explanation 10 something kept the same in the experiment it's called the independent variable mm -mm. that's your control group or your control variable all right in your summary at the bottom of your page eight um i would like you to write in the independent variable is what is what while the dependent variable is what what do they do what do you do during those parts describe the parts of a controlled experiment it has what in it there are three of them say the three and what they do okay so that's it for the notes if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i hope you have a nice day